Right now, we want to speak with somebody whose name you may recognize doing something special to raise awareness for something you may have never heard of. Our guest is an award-winning financial advisor, philanthropist, and for this conversation, I would say, most importantly, a dad. Rob Tatro is a co-founder of the Canadian CMV Foundation, along with his wife, Michelle. Rob joins us this morning. Rob, great to see you. Good morning. Oh, thank you so much for having me in studio, guys. So I said in this introduction just a moment ago that for the context of this discussion, your role as dad is what it's all about. Is that fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. That's how it all started. My uh, my son was born with a congenital birth defect, congenital disease, uh, almost 15 years ago. And it kind of started my wife and I down this path of raising awareness, raising funds, and effectively creating a national charity with a, a vision and a mission to eradicate the number one cause of infant disability. And that's what started all, me being a dad. And here I am, uh, 14 years later, running across Manitoba. So let's talk about the diagnosis in your son, because I, I don't know what the story was for you, but I'm wondering if when you were told he had congenital cytomegalovirus, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that oh, right, you Rob. You nailed it. You nailed it. it. Did you even know? Had you heard about that? Or was it just the whole thing a complete shock? Tell us about the diagnosis and what you've since come to learn about um, what he's living with. So we had never heard about it, much like 90 some percent of Canadians who never heard about it. We didn't know what to expect. We were going through, you know, a couple months at the hospital, treatments, you know, specialists, meetings. And we just, uh, one particularly tough day, I looked at my wife and we made each other promise. We said, status quo is, is unacceptable. We, we have to change something. This is, this is not how kids should be. And this is not how parents, this is like, it's not what we should be going through. So like, not, we, we've been the luckiest parents ever. Our son is doing fantastic. He was caught, identified, treated, and had a phenomenal outcome. It's not about him, right? It's not about my son. He was kind of the catalyst that got us all going. But we know that 90 plus percent of these CMV positive babies in Manitoba and North America are currently not being identified. If they're not being identified, they can't be treated. If they can't be treated, they can't have a better outcome. That's an expensive burden on us as taxpayers. Perhaps significantly more importantly, these kids are going to have a much worse outcome. outcome and these parents have to deal with that. So it's a family issue. It's a tax issue. It's, it's a individual health issue. And we are choosing not to identify these kids. So I'm pushing for universal screening. What, what are the potential outcomes if this isn't screened, if this isn't caught? What, what are the, what are the health issues well, that can come out of CMV? It's pretty bad. I mean, and loss of vision, loss of hearing. It's the number one cause of non-genetic hearing loss. Uh, there's, there's organ failure. There's, uh, con co uh cognitive delays and, and defects and gross motor skills. And th it's a very long list. Now it is brain damage. So every kid is going to be impacted differently, but um, it's not something I want. Knowing that we can identify these kids and we're choosing not to do anything about it really ups upsets me. Like we pushed hard at CMV Canada. So I'm, I'm the president of CMV Canada. We pushed hard to get universal screening in Ontario and we got it done. We pushed hard to get it done in Saskatchewan. We got it done. And for some reason, it's just not taking hold here in my own home province where the charity started, where we first got a targeted screening program like six years ago. So we've had some progress, but this one for some reason is is not getting passed, even though it, it's happening in Minnesota, it's happening in Saskatchewan, it's happening in Ontario. So I decided uh, at the last international congress for cbs i'm going to do something about it i'm going to run across Manitoba. i'm going to bridge the gap from saskatchewan where they are currently testing every baby for your cmv to ontario where they are as well so think of a baby born in you know saskatoon or kenora having a much better outcome just because they weren't born in manitoba it's upsetting to me and we know the stats are clear. We know the percentage. We know we know there's five to ten babies every year in Manitoba that are going to be impacted by this, and we're choosing not to identify them. Our guest is Rob Tatro. He is the co-founder of the Canadian CMV Foundation, and you mentioned that you're running from Saskatchewan to Ontario. So I mean, just tell us about the logistics. What is the run with Rob? How's this going to work? Okay, so uh, Terry Fox is a bit of my idol, and I've made some big changes in my life over the last couple of years, and you know, I lost. I don't know, 65 pounds and I've focused on running and I've realized how much joy it brings me and how it allows me to just have time to myself. No phone, no emails, no, no one. It's just me and the, 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 the road. And I love that about it. So I started running more and more and more. And I always wanted to kind of run across Canada. But I never thought it'd be possible. Like here I was this overweight guy who had a job and four kids and a busy business and chair. And anyways, and then I was at the CMV conference and I was so inspired by all these doctors and these parents and these volunteers. And 
I was just like, I, I'm going to do something. I was so inspired. I kind of announced it to the group that night. It was with the executive group. And I said, I'm going to run across Manitoba, guys. And like, ha ha, yeah, okay. And I was like, no, no, I'm going to do it. So I came back to the office. I started looking. So I, have, I thank goodness I have a phenomenal staff in my job. So they're all on board. They're helping me out. So we're Terry Foxing it. So that means a couple motorhomes. That means, you know, a crew of a big crew of volunteers. I mean, that means a fun atmosphere. I'm going to take everyone out for, for lunch or dinner afterwards. I'm doing one at 8 a.m. I'm doing two half marathons per day, everyone. So that's a, a 8 a.m. half marathon, a 4 p.m. half marathon. And I'm asking people to come run with me. Hence the name Run With Rob. Like I want to run with Brett. I want to run with Gary. I want to run with whoever out there uh, wants to run with me. And it's going to be a, f- a fantastic atmosphere. So maybe you've run before in your life and maybe you're like, I can do this, but maybe you haven't. And you're just like, oh, I, I need something to inspire me. I'm hoping that you can get inspired, whether you know me or not. I'm hoping you can kind of circle a date on your calendar, register, and then come run. So ideally, you're able to run. If you're not able to run for whatever reason, bad knees or whatever, I need you to sign the petition. Go online. The petition calls for universal screening in Manitoba for all newborn babies. And like that's an easy one. That's a no-brainer. It's cost-effective. It's been proven by a study, Canadian study, proven that it's cost-effective, proven that we can identify, proven that the treatment works, proven that the parents want it. There are no excuses anymore. And then I'm also asking for sponsors and donors. So sign the petition, run with me, sponsors, donor, uh, donors, I guess, and volunteers is what I'm looking for. I can tell you, Brett, I don't want to speak for Brett. Brett's probably not not going to run with you per se. We're joking around about running, but, but we, we can run with this idea because I think we all support raising awareness around this, Rob. And you just sort of summed it all up for us, this idea that CMV is something that can be detected at birth. The earlier you detect it, the better outcomes you can have for kids. So you're running to raise awareness May 12th to 24th. Maybe we will run with you. Who knows? Maybe we could get going by May. But I'm, I'm curious, what is the what is the reason behind the no in Manitoba for this? Have you had that told to you specifically? Or are you just getting more of that? Oh, we're looking into it. Like, what is the reason why Manitoba is saying they won't do this automatic screening for cytomegalovirus? I in believe infants? it's I believe it's political, and I believe it's because it was a bill brought by. So, uh, Premier Salinger is the one that brought the targeted screening bill like six years ago. He was my MLA. And he, he brought this forward because, you know, I, he believed in it. And then it ended up being an amendment to that bill. So Bill 214 is now in front of the Manitoba legislature. It's an, a bill, it's a, a universal hearing screening amendment act that's been brought forward by the NDP. And uh, they've been very much big believers in this. And uh, I believe it's political because I, I believe the MLAs that I've spoken to, the conservatives that I know, they've all told me informally or off the record, we believe in this, Rob, and we want to get it passed. And yet nobody's, you know, they don't own the bill, so now they're choosing not to do it. They read it down, I believe, twice without voting on it. So it's incredibly frustrating. I don't care who passes this bill. You want credit for it? Take it. I really couldn't care less. I'm a father that's trying to get this passed so that we can save the lives of babies. I'm sick and tired of, of people putting their own personal political agendas ahead of the lives of young kids. And that has to stop. And I, I, they won't even reply to my emails. They won't even chat with me. We've had one meeting with the deputy minister, assistant deputy minister, who was all for it. And like, this is probably the bigger story than like, it's the fact that they're not, they're choosing not to do it, even with all this information. And you're a financial guy. So you, yeah. you, you, you're an expert on return on investment. Yeah. What's the return on investment here? What's the, do you know the cost yeah. of the test? So, so yeah, Dr. Soren Gant, a Canadian and his group is out of University of BC. They published a story in the pediatric journals proving that I think you were gaining $3 for every test that you were doing. So it's a $10 cost roughly so you were you were net positive three dollars for every test that you gave to a newborn baby and that was not factoring in the um the uh quality of life loss so you know if if someone loses a, the, the ability to walk or, or see or hear there's a value in the u.s that they assign to that this study didn't even assign values to that because it is incredibly expensive to put a, a deaf child through our healthcare system and our, and our education system, right? We're talking millions of dollars or, or it can be millions of dollars over the course of that child's life. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a finance guy and that really upsets me. Run, run with, with Rob. Rob. I think we have to run with him, Brett. I think we're going to have to Who's going to run? Who's going to run with He's, me? You're so passionate, Rob. We really appreciate it. Brett, 
maybe like a, a hundred meter dash. <laughs> That's a, I, I think I can probably get away with that. But I, running isn't really my thing. I'll, I'll walk though. So how do we register? If we want to, if we want to sign up and want to pick a leg to join you, how do we do it? Go to www.runwithrob.com right on the homepage. Yeah, there's four calls to action. You could pick your leg today. You could pick, you know, the, 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 the Saskatchewan starter, the Ontario end. You could pick the aces. You could pick, you know, the, there's, 24 legs on there, the Marco, the, the Ninjago, they're all named and they're all like 21.1 kilometers from east, from west to east. And you go online, you register right there. I'm going to ask everyone registers to raise a bit of money or, or to share it on their social media because we are trying to promote awareness. If you want to volunteer, awesome. We need volunteers. Sign the petition. If you're a business owner in Manitoba, you're so generous all the time. Please get behind this cause. We'll give you a ton of visibility. And finally, just donate if you can't do any of the other things. We're trying to get 506 Manitobans to donate at least 50 bucks to be on the wall of 506. So I'm, I'm thankful for any of that. And I'm thankful for you guys here today, CGOB, for getting me on the air. May 12th to May 24th, runwithrob.com is the website. Rob Tatro is the co-founder of the Canadian CMV Foundation. Rob, thank you very much for this. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. It is 740.